What's going on guys? So one of my favorite things to install on any daily driver vehicle that I have is going to be a dash cam because there's a lot of crazy things you'll see out on the road, especially bad drivers, but also animals and just certain funny things. But more importantly, things to ensure that you can prove one side of your story because in this crazy world we live in, a lot of people don't want to tell the truth. They don't want to be accountable. And so with as bad drivers as there are these days, you got to have proof. So we're, today we're going to be installing a Vantru N4 dash cam on the truck, hardwiring it in 24 hours a day. I had the N2 or V2, the second generation of Vantru dash cam on my previous truck. Absolutely loved it. Caught a lot of really cool things, caught a lot of really bad drivers. And so it's just one of those things you just, you got to do because you got to have proof. All right. So anyone can say anything, but if you have a video showing what happened, you got them. So today we are going to be installing the N4, the latest model from Vantra. It is a front and rear facing camera. And it also comes with another little camera that you, I would assume, hook up in your back window, but you could really put it anywhere. And then we've got the hardwire kit, because like I said, we are going to be hardwiring it to the truck to run 24 hours a day. And then we've got a large SD or uh, memory card to slap in here so we can actually record that long without it looping over itself too soon. We're gonna be hardwiring this into my 2021 Silverado. It would be essentially the same for all vehicles. Your fuses are just gonna be in a different spot. So first things first, we're gonna get our meter. We're gonna find a fuse over here in the passenger side. Hopefully it's gonna to try to do it the same way I did my last truck pull this guy off our fuses are going to be behind there we'll use that tester to find a fuse that has power when the truck is off so that it will run 24 hours and then we're going to run it up through here through the headliner and we're going to mount it somewhere over here we might try to hide this one a little bit better we'll just have to see how we can do it and how it reacts with the window tent up there but anyways let's go ahead and pop this off and find us a fuse let's go ahead and grab it and pull it towards the door and they will all pop out just like that. And then we've got a list of our fuses, which I'm gonna go over these real quick and try to find the best one for our application. We also gotta remove this bottom kick panel because that is where our ground is. So let's pull our floor mats out. Go ahead and pop up this bottom kick panel. Let's pull it straight up. a little piece underneath your seat right here you gotta finagle out of the way and then now this guy's got some big tabs we're just gonna pull it straight out to us with a lot of force just like that and as you can see there's our nice good ground right there all right guys, so I've been messing around with this thing, trying to find the correct fuse and everything, and I think I got everything sorted. So we ended up going with, it's this top one right here, which is 5-3, which if we go down here, 5-3, it says UGDO. It's one of the little fuses. It's a 10, goes to a 5 for our dash cam. We got our ground right here. So the truck is off right. We go ahead and plug it in. Bada bing, bada boom. I did have to cut back the little grommet a little bit to extend this. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more, a little bit more to actually hide this wire properly. Uh, then we're gonna tuck these away, obviously. And then we're gonna undo the battery. Key thing here, remember, undo your battery because we're gonna be taking this pillar cover off this handle and there is an airbag back behind there. So you don't wanna explode that in your face. So. Make sure now, unhook your battery. All right, our battery is disconnected. Now we gotta get this off. All right, should be 10 mil. Once again, biggest thing, don't hit your windshield. A little to the inside. Actually, it's, you pull straight out this way towards y'all. And there's your airbag that you absolutely do not want to kiss. So now we're just gonna be running our wire, all of this guy up through here, tuck it in our headliner and get it right here. And then we'll get our dash cam working and then we'll tuck away all the extra wire. 
All right, so we got the dash cam up, tucked away nicely. Shouldn't be in my range of view at all. I had the other one hanging down a little lower and it kind of got on my nerves sometimes. So this time we're going up a little bit. Seems to be fine on the tent. And then we've got that tucked up in there underneath the headliner. Comes in right here. Got it running down this channel. Comes in through right there. Got it in here. Got all of our wire bundled up right there. Negative, positive running up. So now we're just gonna slap our panels back on there. All right, we got our hull hooked up and it is working well. That is some serious clarity going on right there. That is awesome. So I've got it all adjusted and everything. And honestly, from my perspective, I can just barely even see it. So that's really awesome. All the features we gotta go through. I've already done the initial setup with the time and everything like that. It is recording right now. And it is appearing to be awesome quality. We'll have to get some while we're going down the road, obviously, and show you all that at the end of this. But super clean install. Everything worked out good. Apparently that fuse and everything that I found is correct and working well. So very nice, very nice. We'll see, but there's a ton, a ton of features you can go through here and set up and stuff. So y'all can play with that if you'd like, but other than that, that's the install, guys. Hopefully, y'all did enjoy. Now you know.